Hello, everybody. This is Ron talking to you from the Erasmus Academy in Brooklyn, New York. And today I have uh, Jennifer on the line, uh, who's going to talk about her experience in one of the classes that we offered this summer. So uh, you want to say hello, Jennifer? Hello. <laughs> Great. Well, <laughs> well, tell me, uh, Jennifer, um, uh, what course did you take and how did you find out about the Erasmus Academy? Sure. I took the intensive Latin class. Um, I found Erasmus Academy by Googling online Latin courses uh, summer, and mm -hmm. yeah. it popped up, and I thought I'd give it a try. Great. And so um, um, what, what was your reason for, uh, for learning Latin? Um, you know, I have a strong interest in the ancient languages. You know, I joke about the deader the better. Um, I like Sanskrit. I'm much more into classical Greek, and Latin was something I just had taken, you know, either in high school or in college. Mm -hmm. uh, so I took the opportunity, you know, with a seven or eight week class to, you know, to just immerse myself in it. Mm -hmm. Great. So you say you've taken Sanskrit before? You've studied Sanskrit? Yes, I've taken a Sanskrit class before. And, you know, it really came down to this summer. I was like, oh, should I do Latin or Sanskrit? And then I thought... <laughs> You need to commit yourself to some Latin, so I chose Latin. Maybe next summer, Sanskrit. And how many years have you done of Greek, uh, sort of overall? Uh, for Greek, I've probably done eight or nine years. Mm -hmm. so, Great. Great. Yeah. yeah well, well really tell us something uh, more spe now specifically about uh, how the class was conducted. What was a typical scenario, a typical class? Uh, how did it go generally? Sure. So, uh, you know, everybody would log in to their go-to meeting pretty easy, and uh, the instructor would um, Ben would ask if there was questions on the homework. Mm -hmm. uh, he would, you know, answer any and all questions, and then if there was a point of emphasis that he felt we all weren't quite getting, he would spend some time on that. Okay. Um, and you know, then we'd launch into the lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and how does it work mechanically? Just for people who haven't uh, taken a course in real time, you you were able to see on your screen uh, the text to be analyzed and the grammar uh, pr presentation. Uh... Yeah, exactly. So you know, once you log in, the screen um, it's like staring at the chalkboard, except it's a screen, and he you know types in whatever he's talking about in terms of showing a paradigm or working on vocabulary or some mm -hmm. sort of you know, grammar structure, okay. and, you know, he types it, and you see it, and if you have a question, you just go into chat and ask your question. Mm -hmm. could or you, you can, you could also ask it just by unmuting your mic, but most people chose to type it in because they didn't want to interrupt, I see. interrupt him. But you're able to c converse uh, if people were unmuted then uh, back and oh, forth. Oh, yeah. Uh, great. Oh, yeah. Great. So um, what was the, inter what was the uh, sort of the, the, interaction uh, uh, or chemistry of the class itself, and, and how many did you have in the class? Um, I think there was nine of us, nine or ten of us in the class, mm -hmm. and one thing I, I really appreciated is that um, everybody was timely, everybody was respectful, um, you could tell people were really trying to get it, um, mm -hmm. and, you know, it was... I thought there was some good camaraderie between us, you know, mm -hmm. all complaining about some of the <laughs> some of the grammar uh, difficulties, but mm -hmm. all in all, uh, you know, having some online um, classmates it turned out to be more fun than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, sometimes uh, these kinds of courses that are geared for uh, college and mostly graduate students. Mo most of the times you get uh, persons who are really um, motivated and, and dedicated to learning the language and are very serious about it. So I guess that's, that was your impression from, from the classmates that you happen to be with? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everybody was, was really motivated. And, you know, one thing about an online class or you know, maybe any other class is that, you know, being respectful about asking questions and, and being on time and, you know, coming back after the break on time and stuff. And, I just found it was really smooth. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So you, you, uh, the teacher did give you a break uh, every now and then. Yeah, so uh, we would usually take a break after about an hour and 15 minutes, you know, mm -hmm. a 10-minute break or so, and yeah. then we'd start back up. So. Mm -hmm. Great. So, no so what was the what was the feedback like? I mean, uh, and did were you required to, to submit uh, homework on a regular basis and that sort of thing? And and how did he respond to that? Yep, so uh, 
the class met Monday and Wednesday um, evenings, and you know we'd have a lighter assignment load on Mondays because you know you, turn, you only have one day to do it. Uh, Wednesday homework would be a bit longer, uh, but it was great because you could email or call. I just chose to email uh, the professor with, "Hey, I'm having problems with you know number five. This is what I think. Am I on the right path?" You know, and, and Ben would get back to us, you know, within a few hours, but certainly uh, same day. Mm -hmm. And, wow. you know, I found I had more access to the professor, you know, using this uh, method than if I was taking it, you know, online where it wasn't live or sure. um, in a classroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, toward the end of the the class, I, I guess he concluded the the, the uh, textbook or the chapters within what the first six and six and a half weeks or something. Uh, how did you feel about the the progress of the course uh, in getting into some uh, longer narratives? And, and was that pretty interesting once you got to that point? Yeah, I think it the way the class is structured is you get to that point where you think you're never going to get to real Latin, and then you do, and so it, it's <laughs> totally another breath of fresh air. Uh, but it was, you know, the the homework is one thing, but, you know, when you start doing the original translations, you know, that certainly makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we found people, he'd say, if you guys want to, this is the assignment, but if you want to do more, you know, try these two poems or, you know, this prose. So, I see. you know, it definitely made it worth it. Mm -hmm. D did he make some comments on the sort of general nature of the Roman civilization or, or comments about some of the different writers uh, to give you some context of what you're reading? He, he did, especially around the po uh, poetry that we translated. Hmm. You know, he would talk about, um, you know, Latin poets of the, of the time and sort of how they like to, you know, uh, you know, how they would talk and how, you know, the... Uh, you know, if there's dactylic hexameter or, you know, a certain type of cadence to the poem, you hmm. know, he would put that in perspective because otherwise you'd, it's, it's, I thought it was really complicated, but his comments on it helped sort of give you a frame of reference for what you were trying to do. What were some of the, some of the poets that you read uh, during the course? Uh, certainly Catullus. We did a lot of Catullus. Uh, what was fun for me is we did some Sappho, which was in Latin, but of course Sappho, you know, originally wrote in, wrote in Greek. So mm -hmm. it was kind of fun reading the Latin translation of the Greek and putting it into English. So mm -hmm. uh, those were probably the poets we used, looked at the most. Great. What, what about the, the progress that uh, you were able to make in the course? Were you satisfied or, or, or with, is that what you expected um, or anticipated? It was a lot more than I expected because I thought, you know, how much can you really get through in seven weeks? And it turns out you can get through a lot in seven weeks and that you can, um, you know, if you really focus on it, um, it all works out like, you know, it, it weeks five and six are just uh, fantastic because you can, you've made it through all of the drudgery, if you will, in my opinion, of the paradigms and all the different uh, basic grammar mm -hmm. and then yeah. all of a sudden you're in something more complex and you're actually reading Latin and I'm like wow I didn't know a word of Latin before this started and now I'm mm -hmm. you know translating Catullus so <laughs> I was just thrilled. Great, great. Are, are you planning to, to keep it up, uh, keep up the, the level that you've reached or? or uh... Yeah I've worked way too hard to, have to slip back <laughs> now so yeah I hope to take another uh, reading class in Latin just to solidify it. I mean one um, area you just don't have as much time for as vocabulary. Yeah, um, yeah. So, you know, I definitely want to keep at it and work on retaining some more uh, vocabulary especially. Mm -hmm. Great. So some of our uh, instructors are, are actually planning to do a, 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 a reading, uh, a second, second year reading course uh, in the fall. I'm not sure if Ben is interested in doing that or not or if, or if he's in a position to, but um, that would be a we're trying. We're trying to expand a little bit. Uh, in addition, just to the summer intensive courses that we're offering. So, but just to wrap it up, uh, how, how would you um, would you recommend this course to others, or, or how do you feel about that? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I would highly. I plan on taking another class next summer, so mm -hmm. you know, I highly recommend it. Great. Well, thanks so much, uh, Jennifer, for taking the time, uh, and really appreciate your comments. All right. Thank you.